Hi my friends, today we model this part which has the name line output pipe and you see how it looks, it is not complicated for beginners and the source comes from Timoteo Carrera Soto, the name is Pippa para Salida de Linea. <laughs> dimensions are here we understand that this uh, point is aligned with this line this part is taken from uh, Timoteo Carras Soto drawings and you can uh, download it by watching the tutorial number 182 This is my drawing with all the necessary dimensions. I hope I don't forget any dimension. Let's start. New standard millimeters IPT, XY plane, and we draw a line to the right. I keep press the left button of the mouse and I go here then down this uh, radius is uh, 38 this dimension is 41 And all dimension from the center point to here is uh, 129. Good. Finish sketch. Another new sketch will be placed right on this plane YZ two circles centered in the center point diameter of uh, 35 and another one diameter 25 finish sketch we apply now sweep for this area about this curve okay now we want to create this flange with its dimensions and placed at 91 from this end 91 remember and dimensions are here I apply plane based on this plane going to 91 here is the space for a new sketch the sketch must be oriented with uh, Z up to have no problems with horizontal, vertical I create a circle with a radius of 14 and another one here I draw a line between these two centers I make the line vertical I make equal this circle with this one and I place the midpoint of this line to the center point then I draw an arc starting from somewhere on the circle ending 
somewhere on the other circle and I wait for tangency at any end this one you see here tangency and we force another tangency here we apply mirror of this arc about this line apply we place the dimension between this point and this point as uh, 52 and this line is 68 I make this line as construction line I apply trim for the unnecessary arcs this is to be nice we have a fully constrained sketch to be extruded extrude the other direction on 15 this plane is no more necessary the flange has two holes of uh, 8 millimeters placed at the same 68 we apply sketch we go back finish sketch because we get this uh, two points hole one point another point diameter is eight and termination is through okay this end of the part has uh, some dimensions you see this is a short line a vertical line to apply 41 instead of uh, 38 from this center line on this end we have to create this contour you see here all the necessary dimensions I don't mention them we draw this contour Good. XY plane sketch F7 oh what is this <laughs> I selected uh, I made a, a wrong selection let's go back to see what happened there you see we'll keep here the sketch double click on the extrusion and we didn't select the necessary close contour I double click here F7 and I project this circle my friends now again double click no selection and the selection is this yes okay we go back to the sketch and we apply F7 and we see here the correct feature now I project this end line you see the dif distance here and I draw that contour horizontal I keep press the left button I go here then back 
down another keep pressed the left button I go here I apply a small arc I go somewhere here then I keep pressed the left button and I go up up here I didn't uh, place all the tangencies you see this one is missing and this was and this oh no no I didn't select this let me place here a tangency and now let's see what happens here this is not solved so I apply that uh, tangency that constraint I move to the right this point but let me place dimensions 3 also 3 1 and now I can make coincident this point with this point very good other dimensions are 8 millimeter this fillet then uh, I draw a vertical line as a center line to apply uh, uh, dimensions this is uh, 62 you see what happens here this is 42 and on vertical direction this uh, distance is not okay this is okay no this dimension is not okay because we don't see that uh, combination of lines so I measure this and since the distance is 34 I uh, subtract 3 millimeters but not 3 this parameter yes if somebody changes this value you will find the same value I move this center up and the distance between you see here 34 yes the distance between these two faces is 5 millimeters but the same distance is between these two centers so I can use it I use the distance between these, these two as uh, 5 millimeters Two dimensions needed let's see what are that dimension one is the end of this line and the other is uh, 42 was placed 62 is in position and
yes this is another one you see this uh, 20 I'll use again uh, 20 minus uh, radius 3 yes dimension from this point to this point as 20 minus this parameter okay we still have one dimension but that dimension is uh, this one I don't dimension this if you want I can place it uh, aligned with this point to have here full constraint horizontal between this point and this point and now we have fully constrained sketch finish revolve ok and there is a fillet of 6 here to end this uh, model six okay now let's see what is the volume of this part i properties physical update dimension copy close drawing double click paste just the same my friends cancel is a, a simple model and we are uh, happy to obtain the same volume the material is uh, still cast the color is uh, is uh, this one chrome polished blue you see you can uh, apply shade it without edges and now we compare this to objects they are identical that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye